Okay, so in this image, we're going to see how we can put a composition all together using curves and some simple things. So the first idea is to put this text behind um, this kid here. So I'm going to use the quick selection. And I'm going to select around here. Okay, so now I'm going to go inside my text. And I'm going to put a mask on it. Oops, wrong way, right? So we're going to do an inverse mask. So now he's standing in front of the text. And now we're going to do our curves adjustment. So let's go ahead and do a curves. And I don't think necessarily the brightness and darkness need to be adjusted. Um, I may do that a little bit in the end. But let's really look at how we can take a black and white image and add some color to it. So I really like what's going on there. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And I'm going to do another one. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the red midtones. Right? We're going to really heighten those. But now I'm going to go to the blue and, again, add more of that orange in there, which I really like. So in this case, um, I can take away some of that if I don't want that effect. Right? So let's say we want kind of you know, effect where he's a little bit more um, red down here. Maybe there's some more red down here. All right, we're going to do one more where I'm really going to pump the, the yellows that are in here. And again, this is just because I like it. You can kind of do any way that you feel this needs to be done. Right, so we're going to pull this down, and I really like what's happening in those yellows, but not overall. So let's just add some yellows kind of out and around, which, which I kind of like. And now we're going to do another curves. In this case, I'm going to really heighten the darks. Now, I love what's happening with this background. Love it. It's really starting to bring it out. It's doing some funky things with the text that I actually really kind of, that could be interesting. But I don't want it all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and put a, a mask on that and just mask out the guy here, right? Because I don't want it in his skin. I kind of just want it in this background, which is which is serving to be uh, kind of interesting. Okay. Now let's say I like this text, but you know what? Um, I, I want it to be kind of scratchy. I, I, I don't like it just to be 100%. Ooh, but I already have this mask on there. What do I do? This is the reason why now you would group it. So I'm going to group this and now put a mask on it. And let's just do these scratches just to show you. Actually, those scratches are too. Yeah. So now we can kind of have some fun with what's happening with this text. So again, I'm just kind of masking it out. Let's make this brush a little smaller and switching between my black and my white to really get this effect. So here, here you have a, started off with a black and white image. You've really kind of toned it. You've really kind of made some interesting things um, happen within this document. So that's kind of taking the curves and putting everything together.